Hi, my name's Jen. Welcome to my channel, All My Plants. Today I have Hoya updates. They were either propagations, newly acquired Hoyas, whatever. You've probably seen most of them, except for one that I know of, before on this channel if you've watched, if, you, you know, so if you're a subscriber or whatever. Um, so we're just gonna like run through and see what's going on. I've got, I don't know, 10 minutes, maybe, maybe 20, um, before I have to get dinner going. So <laughs> we're gonna do that real quick. The first one I'll show you is a new one, um, which I've never shown. I didn't haul this, but I'm gonna show it to you anyway, cause it's a pretty one. I don't know what it is. I have no idea. I think, I think the guy told me it was Hoya Sunrise. Um, but I am blasting this with light. He said sunrise because if you look at the back of that leaf, it's very red. And some of them there are very red, but it's not like the Hoya Sunrise red. And even though I'm blasting the tops or the, you know, the leaves, um, what I'm getting is more like this. This is a newer leaf. Oh, I just saw lightning. Can you see the black edging and the black there at the base where the leaf and petiole, I guess, connect? Um, I guess it's actually a very deep purple, but, and then there's a newer leaf there. So I have no idea what this is. Some kind of Hoya, a lovely Hoya. If you have any idea, please feel free to let me know. Oh yeah, we're getting a storm. So pretty. And then this is the Hoya Bella that we propagated. This is the one we propagated from because I had pesty issues, which was not fun for me. Um, I never did figure out what kind of pest it was, but this is the propagations. One or two quit, but we have new growth on all of them from somewhere. Yeah, so that's looking pretty good. We're getting closer to that goal of having a full basket, because I think there's just like one in here that's branched off a little bit. I mean, it's branched off quite a bit, but... And then this was the Hoya Finlaysonii that I propagated back into itself that just stopped growing. It grew these two leaves and then it just stopped. Um, I cut it into three, three segments, so it's three cuttings in here now, and it wouldn't grow. So I started treating it very aggressively. When I say very aggressively, I mean I treated it every day with something. Um, alcohol, water, dish soap, and tea tree oil one day, and then the next day I would treat it with um, watered down peroxide and a spray bottle. Um, the next day after that I would use insecticidal soap. The day after that I would use neem oil. The day after that I would use Captain Jack's. Um, it was a long drawn out process but I did that every single day and now I'm down to treating it every three days because I'm finally getting growth. Finally. I don't know what it was. Some sort of mite, broad mites maybe. Um, you can see there that gnarled looking Maybe we can focus that gnarled looking where it tried to grow these little, whoops, those little nubbers in there. Um, that was the issue is it would try to grow and then it would quit. It would try to grow and then it would quit. Okay. I just got pushed further back in the corner. What was I saying? Oh, it's growing. These are new. Um, this is new. Uh, there's a couple growth points coming off of this one that are new. So hopefully we get more leaves you know, but I seem to have worked out the problem. I'm still treating it every three days um, just because I don't want to give anything a chance to like complete a cycle. Um, so I, I don't know, you know, we're, we're hopeful that we've got it sorted anyway. I see uh, like several new places where it's going to grow. So I'm very excited about that. That's the Hoya Finlaysonii, which one I couldn't tell you. Just Finlaysonii, fuzzy top and bottom of the leaf or pubescent if you prefer the the fancy words <laughs> um but yeah you know i'll take it this was one of my mystery hoyas which i have mentioned before well you're i'm taller now this is um i think like a carnosa stardust or a carnosa freckles maybe we're not sure because the mother plant hasn't flowered it hasn't even put out a peduncle yet um, but it's doing fine and this is starting to root um, this basically, I propagated it for an insurance plant. I don't think I did this one on camera, but I'm letting you know. I'm propagating it. <laughs> this was the Hoya. It used to be, what, Macrophylla albomarginata. I think now it's Latifolia outer variegated or something. Um, this was just three little cuttings we stuck in here. 
and it's a plant now. It's a plant now. I wouldn't even call that cuttings anymore. Um, it, you can see it's mostly all new growth because of the yellow still on it. Ooh, lightning. As it hardens off and it and ages, it kind of turns more white like that older leaf. Wow. Storms are a thing here lately. And this guy here was the Hoya, I keep calling it cow bang. Um, a cow bung, cow bung. I don't know, I'm, you know, I don't speak Vietnamese or even English hardly. But yeah, these are the leaves that came with. This is new. It's just jumped out there. This has been the fastest grower from that plant hole, I think. No, maybe the caudata. Um, and then that little leaf there is new. But yeah, it's doing good. This is the leaf that was broke in transit um, and shipping. And it's kind of like grabbed itself. Um, you can still see on the back where it's broke as well. If it'll focus, there we go. But it seems fine. And you know, I'm just gonna leave it be. Then this is the, this is the Hoya caudata Sumatra. And I'm really loving the color of the new leaves on this one. I am kind of blasting it with light. The light in the top of that cabinet there is adjustable, so I can turn it up to really um, sun stress things nicely. Um, they're not showing up nearly as like purpley on camera as I'm seeing them. But this plant did really well. Um, only one little tendril kind of died back, but I'm not missing it, you know? So really happy with it. It's a really, really pretty plant. So pretty, like, <laughs> The other two I got at the same time, they're both doing good. They're just growing more slowly. They just look pretty much the same as they did when I unboxed them, but updates in the future. And then this guy here is the Hoya Crassipes, which I repotted not that long ago and um, trellised. And it's just, uh, I mean, it's taken off. So I'm really like, that's one of my favorite leaves right there on this plant, it's so pretty. But yeah, it's taken off, it's grown really well. It's got a new shoot over here, there's one here. And I think there's about to be another one down there, maybe. Um, but yeah, it's grown up here and um, around. So I just kind of bent that over yesterday. Um, I didn't really want to snap it, but I'm going to, you know, bend the rest of it around now. Um, well, not right now, <laughs> but soon. And I will actually pull this over this piece here over and like strap it behind so that it can grow up um, the back there. But yeah, like, I love this plant. Look at this one random big leaf on here. That's so weird. All the rest of them are kind of small. I don't know, these aren't hardened off fully yet. Nor are those, they're new. More new ones coming. Can you see it? There we go. But uh, yeah, it's this is a grower. Yeah, it's a grower. I really like it. It's so pretty. Okay, one more. Let me get you off there. Okay, and the last one is this pubicalyx, which I mentioned before that when it, new leaves grow, they grow so dark, they're almost black. And I haven't been able to show you until now. Like, there's one. That is so pretty, so pretty. And then there's another one. And another one. And some more. It will focus on the plant. There we go. But yeah, like, whoo, there is a piece dying back there. And that's the, the mystery Hoya that I said we propagated from. But yeah, I mean, that's so pretty when this, when these leaves come in like this, like that's gorgeous to me. Look at that. That's so pretty. And they do come in with some speckling. I don't know why we're having such a hard time focusing on this particular leaf. Okay, maybe this one then. Or not. But yeah, they're, it's just beautiful. Anyway, I just wanted you to see what I was talking about when I mentioned it before. If you saw that video, that's what I'm talking about. But that's all I have time for today. I have to run and pick up my door and eat dinner and things like that. So thank you for watching. Thank you for hanging out with me and come back and check me out again soon. Bye.